Hey guys, welcome back. So now we're jumping back into Donny Cates and Ryan Otley's 2021 Hulk series, which at this point has cranked things up way further than I expected and also a lot earlier than I expected too. So let's talk about it. But first, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to catch us bills every week. And don't forget to hit that bell up top so we can squat up in the comments for the first hour. All right, so with us jumping back in with Captain Banner making his way to Earth 122 and quickly finding himself at odds with President Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross to where in his case, President Ross, he's taken every opportunity to demonstrate that he's on demon time. But with him throwing an insane amount of artillery at 616 Banner and the Starship Hulk to only then see them tear through President Ross's military, this had then caused Ross to kick things up a notch by kicking Peter Parker into this fight for us then to find that this world's Peter Parker is the unfriendly neighborhood Spider Hulk. But before we get into the matchup between Spider Hulk and Starship Hulk, first we go back to President Ross and Earth-122 Dr. Banner, to where at this time, President Ross is beating the mess out of Dr. Banner because he wants answers. Because as far as the Starship Hulk and what it's been doing, President Ross hasn't seen anything like this. And that's not just because of the whole Starship factor, but also this has a lot to do with this world, Earth-122, never having the original Gamma incident that transformed Banner into the Hulk who was nearly unstoppable in the eyes of 616 General Ross. But instead, because on Earth-122, for the most part, these Gamma explosions, they've more so created Gamma mutates, who of course, even in this case, they've shown a lot of strength. But up to this point, they've been something that President Ross has been able to manage. But now in the case of Captain Banner and the Starship Hulk, that's no longer the case. So for President Ross, in this moment, he's in uncharted water. And with him trying to beat the answers out of his Dr. Banner, who he's now asking, where'd you find this thing? How is he controlling it? And more importantly, how does President Ross kill it? To where then Dr. Banner just laughs hysterically at the how do you kill it part. Because even in this moment, Dr. Banner, he realizes that quote unquote, his story is always the same. And even though we're getting much of this through the narration of 616 Banner, who's saying much of this in reference to his alternate self, the Banner of this world. But after the conversations that we've seen them have, we know that the two of them realize that they're very much alike with both of them being destroyers of worlds even though that played out differently on each world so with that being the case like it's here where president ross is asking dr banner what is this thing and when dr banner responds saying that it's me when i'm angry and it's really him also saying that this thing is a destroyer of worlds but really in this moment is also like something that just goes over president ross's head but in the case of spider hulk versus starship hulk like just going into this thing, Spider Hulk is beating the brakes off of Starship Hulk, who at this point, keep in mind, Starship Hulk, he's at level four. But you know, it's crazy with us getting a better look at Spider Hulk, who in this case, his gums are even hulked out. And it's like, at this point, forget braces. Like he needs some crimson bands around them teeth. Cause this has got to be like, the craziest Spider Hulk we've ever seen. Because prior to this before, like we've seen Spider-Man Hulk out like in the early 90s, and more recently we've seen it happen again within Immortal Hulk, or really what was more of a tie-in to Immortal Hulk. But in either of those cases, you can look at those and say like, that's a, that's a hulked out Spider-Man. But with this right here, like this here on Earth-122, this Spider Hulk is appropriately named because the man portion is much of an afterthought like when you see this thing. But at this time with the Starship Hulk getting laid into, Captain Banner has his hand on the lever and he's getting ready to push it from stage four to stage five, with stage four again being the Marvel zombies. But externally, like this level of performance from the Hulk in the engine room, externally is not giving Captain Banner the output that he needs. But before Banner could crank it up a notch, Betty shows up again and she's telling Captain Banner like, wait a minute, what are you doing? You're not gonna kill that kid, are you? He's just a child, he can't help what he is. And with how this is done, Betty, she goes on to tell Bruce that he knows what happens when you lock away a child and you abuse it and you take away its freedom to where then that child bottles up all that fury and all that rage. And as a result, that child then turns into what you made it. And with saying that, she knows that Bruce is familiar with that process because his rage and his hatred for his father is what crafted the Savage Hulk with Bruce's anger and his desire to smash something. But then also with saying this, Betty then asks the question, what's gonna happen when the Hulk goes through that? What is he gonna turn into, which really has been our discussion as well. Because from the beginning of this whole Smashtronaut ordeal, as the reader, we knew this was a bad idea. And really, some of you guys even thought that this was a bad idea like in its entirety. Like, you know, you just want him to throw the whole Hulk away. But I'm referring to Banner's decision to throw the Hulk in this engine room and not just lock him away, 
but then on top of that provoke him in order to fuel this starship hulk like this just seems like a recipe for breaking the banner system all in one swing to where now with the way that betty describes this like bruce is treating the hulk the same way that his father brian treated him and it makes you think like wow like why wouldn't this turn into the creation of something even crazier but then here's the thing, because when Betty brings this up and brings this to Banner's attention and she asks Bruce, like, if this kid explodes, like, what are you going to do? And when Bruce responds, he says he doesn't know. And then he cranks up the engine room to level five, which from there in the engine room, this brings in the gods, which really for the most part is Thor and a number of other characters related to Thor or really just other characters who would correspond to a level if level five was just called Thor level, with it bringing in Odin, Malekith, Lady Sif, Heimdall, Beta Ray Bill, but also I understand why this wasn't called Stage Thor, because it would just be confusing if you went from Stage 4 to Stage Thor, but with Stage 5 being labeled just gods. Nonetheless, these are heavy hitters, and with this cranking the engine room up, Captain Banner pushes the smash button, and that is precisely what the Starship Hulk does which from here takes the fight to Spider-Hulk literally on a level that he cannot match. And for that reason, this causes the fight to be over rather quickly because for Spider-Hulk, who in his case, of course, he doesn't get angrier and stronger, but instead with the Starship Hulk putting out at a level five, this then causes Spider-Hulk to revert back into Peter Parker, who then tells the Hulk, I'm sorry, I do not want to fight anymore. But shortly after him saying this, he then sees that President Ross had ordered for bombs to be dropped right on top of these guys. But with Captain Banner talking to Betty, he's thinking at this point, since he saw Spider-Hulk turn back into Peter, he's looking at Betty like, you worry too much. Because for Bruce, really like his biggest problem within this series thus far is that he thinks he can control this situation. And really with just looking back at the incident from El Paso, it was Bruce's lack of control of the Hulk that caused him to take this extreme measure and make the Hulk into a starship to where Bruce would be the captain and he would have complete control. Because before this whole smash or not ordeal, controlling the Hulk was the base of Bruce's initial method. But aside from El Paso and what all happened there, like we still don't know the whole story yet. But aside from this event that caused Bruce to take these extreme measures, the control method didn't work then. And this new Starship method, which is really just a tighter grip of control, it's now falling apart in front of Bruce. Because when these bombs land, the helmet of the Starship Hulk is destroyed, which internally completely compromises the hull. So it's like now for Bruce, who prior to this he had believed that with this setup that there's no way that he could lose control. But now what seemed impossible, it's actually beginning to happen. But back over with President Ross and Dr. Banner, this interrogation comes to a point to where Dr. Banner, he tells President Ross what he knows, which really is the same thing that we had seen him tell Captain Banner previously, because it's here where Dr. Banner just tells the president that he was trying to find one of the different gamma mutates that they had just disposed of before, because even though they were quote unquote disposed of, they still had to go somewhere. But with Dr. Banner looking for them, that's when he found the Starship Hulk. And he tries to warn President Ross, like this Hulk that he found, he's not like any of these gamma mutates like this dude different and he tells president ross if he keeps messing with this guy this whole thing's gonna blow up in his face but when president ross clears the room so it could just be him and dr banner just the two of them talking and it's here where he lets in dr banner on a little secret because even though before this they had their arrangement to where dr banner would help him dispose of different gamma mutates but what president ross didn't tell banner was that he had been working with a guy by the name of richards which is likely a reed richards of this world but that he had been working with richards so that when president ross would dispose of the weak gamma mutates Richards would help Ross control the strong gamma mutates so that he could turn around and weaponize them. And it's here where we find that this payload that President Ross had dropped, that these weren't actually bombs at all. But instead, these were just containers for the more stronger gamma mutates that he had deployed, who he also refers to in this conversation as abominations. But when hearing this, we also know that from Dr. Banner's conversation with Captain Banner, that President Ross refers to all gamma mutates as abominations. So in this conversation, when he says that, it's really more the case of President Ross telling Dr. Banner that he doesn't even consider these guys to be human, at least not anymore. Because Dr. Banner, he's begging President Ross not to send these guys out there. But the president, he could care less because from his perspective, these aren't even people anymore. But while all this is going on, back over in the Starship Hulk, we have Banner who's almost completely sucked out of the hull, and he's barely hanging on, begging for Betty to help him. But in the middle of all this, Betty keeps telling Banner that Betty is not real, which also through this series has kind of been the lingering mystery with Betty showing up here. But then it's here with this Betty, she just looks at Bruce and she tells him, like, look at you, you're helpless trapped at the mercy of forces and violence out of your control and she asks him like does that remind you of anyone 
and when she says this she cranks the engine room up from stage 5 to stage 6 which then takes it from being stage 5 with the gods to now being stage 6 with the devils and when this happens with the engine room turned up to stage 6 on the hulk like he is pissed and with the hulk in there and just being suffocated by enemies from stage 6 he just screams out to banner because regardless of who pushed this lever the hulk's mad at banner because this whole thing was banner's idea and while this is happening betty's telling bruce it's really spectacular isn't it this thing that you built i know i don't say this enough but i'm proud of you son and she just grabs bruce by the wrist just letting him fly completely out of the hole while telling him we'll take it from here and with saying that betty or what appears to be betty then cranks the engine room up from level six to level nine while saying now let's see what this thing can do and when this happens man like on the outside your starship hulk his eyes start glowing red and like crackling while he's covered with these abominations and he just shoots these beams out of his eyes just shredding these gamma mutates into pieces which is how it ends for now before we get much of any more detail but with us getting this betty reveal and like for one we knew it wasn't actually betty but with us getting this reveal which at this point only just ties it to this mysterious hulk that we've been seeing to now hear this thing say i'm proud of you son and now it's like it's begging even more questions that almost looks like the savage hulk created his own hulk either from his rage which is how banner created savage hulk or if the hulk created something that he'd seen as a father or a protector much like the story we got when banner had created the devil hulk but for the time being we really don't know what this thing is but i'm gonna let you know right now i can't wait to find out and so now real quick I want to give a special shout out to all the patrons. Thank you guys for all of your support. And for anyone who's new here who wants more information on how to support the channel, I got a link below to where you can go to patreon.com slash dope spill. But that'll do it for this one, guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, and we'll do it again in the next one. All right, later.